All right. Um, thought I'd do a little bit of a recap on day one. So, yeah, I'm level 86 at the moment. Um, just going through my atlas. Uh, I've got two atlas passive trees at the moment. Uh, you see, got one here. This one, okay, this one's unlocked at 100. Tells you when it's unlocked, so that's pretty cool. You can rename it. Didn't know that. Uh, this one seemed to be unlocked at, at like 50 passives, I think. It's at 100, which isn't too far away. I'll get another one. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, speaking to Harvey, Harvey's as usual. I don't need that node. No, I do, because I want to get Shrine sooner. Anyway. Um, and all the extra maps. Some June. Uh, trials for the improved trials. Extra maps. Harvey's. And then I want to um, get Harvey Scarabs and some more Scarabs and go up, take all these effect modifiers and these synthesized monster modifiers for Harbinger bonuses. Um, yeah, I'm doing um, Bone Shadow Slayer. It's great, still great. Curse is early weakness, all right. But yeah, it's, um, it's going good. I just have the uh, automated call to arms for my ancestral cry, so I can still um, so I can still use that without worries. Um, yeah, maps are going okay. Uh, this this um uh, this like uh, leak has seems to have quite a bit of like. Uh, currency drops and things like it's definitely not going to be a poverty leak. I think it could be a lot due to than people are expecting. The modifiers on the maps and that, obviously not this particular map because Kurik um, avoids all the leak mechanics. Uh, well, not all the leak, but the current leak mechanics. Um, so I probably shouldn't have done this, but whatever. Neither this map. So. Um, I'm enjoying the leak. A lot, actually. It's uh, pretty fun. I find like the mod the map modifiers um, add a lot of variety to the maps. Feels like even if you're doing the same map, uh, it pops up different each time, rolls different stuff, and it's like pretty great. So I'm really enjoying that so far. Yeah, Bone Shadow is going. Good. It could be better. Obviously, it got a bit nerfed with the. But yeah, notice I'm not really using totems. I don't like using totems anyway, so I just. It's a big nerf to my dam damage, but I do quite a bit of damage anyway. I'm only using a four link and like a really low DPS uh, X. I'll show you. Actually, I'll this map. And um, still like not too bad. What's this? A T10. And. Um, Still finding it pretty fine. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's like no worries. Should probably make a key for my portal, but whatever. Alright, I find a map I need to do. Do I need this one? Yep, so we'll do this one. And what am I doing here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so. I can unspeak my. Well, I think I'll just keep that. Okay, so this pops up like when you do a map now. Have I unlocked Harbingers yet? No, I haven't. Okay. I'm going to do a map now. Now this pops up, which is the leak mechanic. And this, the orange ones are usually bonuses, but actually some blue ones are bonuses, like they'll give like plus three levels to the monsters, which is actually like a good thing for you. So you get high, high level items. 
it seems to be that like the first monster they list is like the most common monster they have in the map and the lowest is like the least common so it's usually good unless they have these like modifier tiers like this uh see this modifier tier lowers the modifier that's on it and this one is less pack size so it's going to be a lot less of these monsters and also um, the modifiers on it don't affect it so much right so you can put like a real harsh modifier on it and it gets nerfed basically but that can also go the opposite way if you get like a green arrow that goes up then it will like buff this modifier so it'll go from 400 to 600 percent quantity whereas if you put it on there it goes down to 200 percent because it's a, a negative to the modifier tier and yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool and then you got these little things obviously that can um change what type of path back it is. I might die if I do that, so I won't. But yeah. Uh, but no, I'm enjoying it. Only problem is, I really don't like how I can't have a skill on my left click. I have to like, figure out, actually assign keys to my alternate buttons and stuff. I can use my Berserk. Not really clearing maps, I'm just getting Atlas, obviously. I just collected a corpse there that, um, that'll go into my graveyard. I haven't actually had a look in my graveyard yet. I've barely been clicking on corpses. I try not to interact with the leak mechanics until like I'm pretty deep into maps. Yeah, just in general because I find in PoE they slow you down a lot uh, with your progress, and they often give you a lot more stuff in general uh, when you do higher level maps. So it seems to be detrimental kind of both ways to do them early. It slows you down and you get less out of them. But you know each their own. Everyone's got their different ways of doing things. Not saying it's any better or worse than other ways to do things. I oh, already got the... Oh, this guy is going to get me with the big... I'm just going to put on my molten shell because I don't know. I don't know when he uh, does this thing. Ah, that's right. Killed him without him. He picks up a massive boulder and he one-shots you with it sometimes, so... Gotta watch out for that. Uh, let's see if Kurat's got any good. Oh, nice, Junes. Need that. Oh, yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you don't know, you can hold down Alt on your maps and it will tell you if, you, if you've done it or not. Dun, dun, dun. Anything bad on that? No. So this one here, you get a few more modifiers, a few more different monster types too. So basically, it's always best to put the whatever you got these tiers as well. It's really cool. Okay, generally, yeah. Strong bot, strongest one will get increased experience. Yeah, I'll just do that. Skip that because it's got a negative one to modify tier. But you see how some of these things don't get affected by the modified tier, but some will see like this one. Plus 30% or resist. Yeah. So uh, these ones are the least uh, common monsters, and these are the most common. From top to bottom. That's what I found in general. See this, in the bottom it's got pack density is very low. And... Yeah. Anyway. I'm using Bone Shatter of Complex Trauma, so it does a lot, quite a bit of self damage. From what I found, but offsetting that with just being a Slayer, really. With my Overleech. Also, having Molten Gel up really decreases that. I wonder if that's a good one. Probably is. Yeah. 
Grim Scarab. I'm really interested to see, because I'm going to spec completely into Scarabs as well. Just because I really enjoy picking them up <laughs> and reading them. It's so new to me, you know, um, all the different types. So I'm going to um, get all the Scarab nodes I can and also block everything on the tree that I'm not doing, which is everything except Harbingers. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll keep Delirium. Is, uh, I might actually do Delirium. I've got some theories about how Delirium affects Harbinger monsters because a lot of my mirror shards I got, I think I got like six or seven mirror shards last week. A lot of them came from uh, Delirious maps. Which, like, a disproportionate amount came from Delirious maps, so I was wondering if there's some weird effect that I'm not aware of. So we'll see about that. There's only a T2, so it's to find the boss, really. It's probably in the middle of that big circle there I left them out of. Yeah, somewhere. Where is he? He is. Alright, do one more map and then um Strand used to be my favourite map. This one's got a less pack size, so I'll change that. It's got negative pattern to one tier, modify tier, and less pack size. This is actually pretty rippy, so. Ah, bugger it, we'll try it. It's there. Maybe it drops more quantity of chalices. Grand mole trend. I haven't seen any other like super like the winged scarabs, you know, the ones that look like winged scarabs. I haven't seen any of those yet. I have seen a few gilded ones though. So it'll be interesting to see once I actually fully spec into it how how many of those drop. Or if I'm gonna have to like be doing June or whatever for them. I don't think anyone's sure yet. I really want to try out the new Harbinger Scarabs and see how they roll. Also, you can stack up to four Harbinger Scarabs. Which means you could have like 12 Scarabs just, uh, 12 Harbingers just from the Scarabs and then whatever the map device is, I think it's three or four. Goes increased magic pack size. Cool. Uh, I picked up another one. Delirium Scarab. Uh, 
feet breach. Combination. I picked up another one somewhere. What is this? Pack monsters drop. Okay. Ah, uh, but yeah, this is my current axe. So this is like 400 DPS. <laughs> yeah, I need to upgrade that. But like you see, I'm doing mats fine. Like I was doing T10s fine with it. You know, you saw that. So and with a four link. So this reason, who cares about not having totems? It's not like I'm like fighting Ubers now. You know, later on, sure, probably best to speak into them, but builds fine without it. Four link and a four hundred, like literally, almost a third DPS of an axe. You know, of a good axe. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I hope your league's going well. Mine's great. Really enjoying this league. Um. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want. I'll catch you later.